Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to part 12 for the Godot 4 Art Platformer tutorial series. This series is made possible by the students who support me by purchasing my Godot courses and pixel art courses. If you're interested in those, you can check out the pinned comment or the description for a link. In this video, we're going to be addressing the issue with wall jumping. Now, I've, I've been thinking about how to solve this, and I think what's happening is sometimes I will push away from the wall before I push jump. And that's where we're getting the issue where I end up using a double jump and not actually wall jumping. See, like that. So I think a decent approach to this problem could be to use the similar, the, pretty much the same approach that we did for the coyote jump, where there's a grace period after leaving the wall where we're still allowed to wall jump. So let's come into our player character and we have our coyote jump timer. Let's add another timer here and we'll call this wall jump timer. And I'm gonna have the same property, so it'll be one shot and point one. Is that what we did for the coyote jump? Yeah. Save. Come into our player script, and I'll click on this, and then hold Control and drag it over to get access to it in here. Now we need to be able to detect whether we were on a wall and then left a wall, right? In the same way that with our coyote jump timer, we detect if we were uh, on the floor and then we left the floor. So it's the same logic. So up here we'll say, we'll say var was on wall equals is on wall. And then down here we'll say, well, let's leave this where it was. And we'll come over here and we'll say, var just left wall equals was on wall and not is on wall. Now, with our just left ledge, we wanted to make sure that we weren't jumping. But in this case, I don't think we need to address that. Uh, so we can just leave it like this. And then we can say if just left wall wall jump timer dot start. Okay. Now we can find our wall jump, handle wall jump, and it says if not is on wall only return. Okay. That's to make sure we don't wall jump when we're in the corner. Um, so our, I'm thinking this through and was on wall should actually be is on wall only. And just left wall should also do and not is on. That's the only one we have to worry about is on wall only I think right here. We want to make sure that we can't wall jump when our, when our character is on the ground and touching a wall. So I think that's important to have there. Okay, and then we say uh, wall normal. Okay, so we're getting the wall normal. Now the problem is that if we use our grace period, that will not give us anything. Um, this wall get wall normal won't work if we're not actually on the wall. So we need to remember the wall normal. Uh, so we're going to have kind of a branch in our logic here. There's going to be the check that we do when we're on a wall, and there's going to be the check that we do when we just left when we're we're in when we're in the grace period. So. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is create a new variable. We have to store this information. So we'll say var um, wall normal. Well, let's let's call it uh, 
let's call it was wall normal i don't know <laughs> this is starting to remind me of uh if you've ever read the mistborn books um was wall normal <laughs> That's going to be a, a joke that only people who, who have read Mistborn are going to... So, and some of the people who have read Mistborn might not catch that either, because it's, it's definitely not the greatest joke. Okay, so we'll just set this to vector2.0 for now. And then uh, what we need to do is, if we are on a wall... So right here, when we're doing was on wall, we can say if was on wall, then was wall normal equals get wall normal. So we're storing the wall normal from this wall check right here, okay, for the grace period. We need to save it. And then we have our branching here. We're going to say... If, oh, let's see, what's going to be a good way to do this? Um, I can just brute force it, but I'm trying to think through the logic because our, our logic tree is getting a little bit complicated. So if we press the jump right here, um, where is handle wall jump? Handle wall jump right here. So we're returning. If not, is on wall only. Return. What we want to do here is, uh, so that's returning if, and so we return if we're not on the wall, and we're also not in the grace period. So and coyote jump or not coyote wall jump timer dot time left is less than or equal to zero. And we return. And here's where we need to either get the wall normal or uh, use our remembered, our was wall normal, depending on, this is going to depend on whether or not um, the, the timer, the grace period timer is active. So we'll say, if wall jump timer dot time left is greater than zero, then um, we're going to say uh, bar wall normal here is equal to vector 2 dot. Now here's how we can do it. We'll just get the wall normal, this. And then if we're in the grace period, then we'll set our wall normal equal to the was wall normal. Wall normal equals was wall normal. So it's just going to try and get the wall normal. But if we're in the grace period, we know we're not actually touching the wall anymore. And so we want to set it to the remembered one, the one that we stored um, this wall normal. But then the rest of the logic can be the same because it'll just use that updated wall normal. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Let's see. OK, start game. Okay, that did feel like I definitely can pull away from the wall. Okay, that's Let's make it let's make it really really long to make sure that it's working the time here. So 0.5. We want to give ourselves a long time to try and see if this is working. Okay, that felt like a wall jump. Yeah, it was a wall jump. You can see that it is prioritizing the wall jump. And this is way long. We can, we can wall jump when we're not even touching the wall at all anymore. Not even close. 
So it's way too long, but it is working. Let's try 0.15. Okay, you know, I think 0.1 is probably going to be good. 0.15 felt a little bit excessive. So as long as we touch the wall, we should be able to pretty easily wall jump now. Yeah, that feels way better. I'm going to try it with a keyboard because I was using the um, I was using the controller, but I'm going to try it with the keyboard now. Oh, goodness, that feels so much better. Okay. That wall jump was about to drive me crazy during this entire series. I really should have fixed this sooner um, so that it wouldn't drive me crazy the entire time. But that feels so much better. This was a good solution to use a grace period for a wall jump. Now we can, uh, the wall jump feels very natural to me now and uh, exactly how it should, in my opinion. And we can, we can technically cheese it still like that to climb walls, but it, it's not the best way to go about it. So, perfect. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.